It appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And as fire crews are descending on this area, it, it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. As just I did not see a plane go in. That, that just exploded. We I, just saw another plane coming in from the side. You did. I did that was out of up Yes, and that's view. the second explosion. You could see the plane come in just from the right-hand side of the screen. So this looks like it is some sort of a concerted effort to attack the World Trade Center that is underway. Catch the game last night? Yeah, Pat's really blew it, eh? 18 and 1. Didn't think that was possible. I know. It looks like Harris. Chief wants to see you in his office. Uh oh. Chief. Control. Print. Hello, Harris. You wanted to see me? I did. Um, this, this here, is your. New partner, 007 Hale. He actually just graduated at the top of his class. He's a, he's great. And uh, what do you two like a mint? You can share them if you like. Uh, help yourselves. Help thank you, sir. Help thank you, Chief. No problem. It's, it's the least I could do, really. Um, but the one thing I really need to tell you is that you two need to collaborate as a team because this is big. This is big. Hmm. Paris, <laughs> would you mind uh, showing your colleague around? Hope that's not a problem. Not at all, Chief. Let's go. Hey, Chief. Hold on, boys. Sir? There's been a uh, terrorist attack at Tree Hill High School. Um, one of the former students' parents has been emailing threats. Why don't you uh, take the new kid with you? Use some um, experience in the field. Yes, Chief. Let's go. Good luck, boys. So we're just going to go arrest this woman? We're going to bring her into the station. How do we know she's guilty? Well, after the threats were found, Tech Squad monitored computer use for two weeks. In that period, four more threats were sent. I just don't understand her motives. Look, you're going to figure out that this is not fake anymore. You're not at the academy. This is the real deal. But at the end of the week, the only important thing is the paycheck you're bringing in. Nurse? Yeah? Ma'am, I'm Agent Paris and this is my partner, Agent Hale. You're being placed under arrest for terrorist threats. Terrorist threats? You must be mistaken. There's no mistaking. Now, you have the right to remain silent and anything that you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. What's going on over there? So your wife is being placed under arrest for terrorist threats against this great state of Massachusetts. Let her go! You're mistaken! Sir, don't do anything foolish. If she's innocent as you claim, the court of law will prove it. Sir! Francis, stop! I'll be fine. Please bring in Miss Martha Corey. Yes, sir. Right this way, ma'am. We'll also take Miss Rebecca Nurse now. Well, I 
Joe's done here. I think we should go get a coffee. Sounds good. Let's go. Raise my coffee is four bucks. Yeah. They really need to raise our paycheck. This is getting ridiculous. Eviction. They just don't make any sense. We really need to draw that. This is AG Paris. Uh huh. Okay, we're on. What's up? There's been another terrorist attack. Where? Airport. You must be the FBI agent system. What's happened here? Attempted bombing of a 747 plane. The man hit a bomb in his suitcase. How is this detected? Metal detector. He tried to smuggle a metal bomb through a metal detector? I don't get it either. This seems kind of... Where is this man? Holding room around the corner. Here's all the information we pulled up on him. Turns out he's a Supreme Court judge. That's interesting. Let's go. Alright. Who are you working for? I'm not a terrorist! You had a bomb in your suitcase! That wasn't mine! That's what they all s You wait right here. Agents? Has he said anything yet? No, he's denying every claim. Have you checked the cameras? Yes. He walked into the building carrying the same bag he tried to get onto the plane with. I'll talk to him. Right this way. Who are you? Mr. Proctor? Yes. So, it says here you're a Supreme Court judge. That's true, and as a judge, I know my rights. You convicted 27 terrorists in your career. Yes, so why would I be one? When exactly did you decide to become an enemy of the great United States of America? I'm not a terrorist! Then how did a bomb end up in your carry-on bag that you walk in the airport with? I... I don't know. Do you see my issue with believing you? What reason would I have for being a terrorist? That's what you're going to tell me. I'm not a terrorist! Then how do you explain your attempt at the destruction of a 747 plane? I want a lawyer. You're gonna need a good one. This just doesn't make any sense. We did our job. It's now for justice to decide. He can't be guilty. None of these terrorist attacks make any sense. I'm here to do my job, get paid, and go home to my family. Not to get attached to these people. We're supposed to find the guilty people and save all the innocent ones. No, we're here to find the evidence, and all the evidence points to these people being terrorists. But enough. Our job here is done. This news was the first to break this story just after 4 o'clock this afternoon. Steve Daniels has been working his sources ever since. He joins us now live from the Breaking News Center with the latest details. Steve. Larry and Angela, we know according to the federal indictment released just a little while ago at the federal courthouse in Raleigh, seven people arrested and facing terrorism-related charges for essentially supporting terrorism. Uh, the boys have been good neighbors. Uh, there was no reason to suspect uh, any sort of foul play, well-maintained property. He thought that Daniel Boyd uh, worked in the construction business. Uh, no uh, hint at all that they might be involved in any sort of terrorist activity or, or training for any sort of uh, military operation or anything like that. Uh, and so uh, this is a complete surprise to everyone in this area. Lawyer. Judge. Hmm. Man, I gotta believe it. What is it? It's a connection between the convicted terrorists. Will you not just drop it? They're all involved in a trial since 21 years ago. John Proctor was a judge, Martha Corey was a lawyer, and Rebecca Nurse was a key witness. Look, they're all dead. The case has been closed. Leave it to rest. They sentenced Mrs. Williams' parents to death under the charge of terrorism. Are you accusing Mrs. Williams of framing these people? Hey, come look at this. The phone from outside the airport. Just look at it.